hey, we're getting all of our materials located to this one location here. This is gonna be our mobilization spot. We've got eight loads of quarried limestone class three riprap to install up and down the shoreline here at a couple different locations. This is gonna be the area where we stage everything. We're gonna make a ramp to get on the barge, load it on the barge, then take it down to the other jobs and unload it. We're making this an access ramp right down to this washed out gully area right here, down to the beach. And then we'll make us a ramp there to load up on one of our staging barges. We'll drive across that barge and go onto our steel barge and load the rock on the steel barge up a little bit deeper water so we can transport it. First load of rock showing up. Hey, we're pulling the existing riprap back away from the seawall here. We're going to install new filter fabric and then uh, secure it to the old seawall with some uh, lumber and some stainless steel screws. Once we get that done, we'll take the stone, stack it back on top of the filter cloth and add uh, 87 more tons of class 4 riprap. Oh, well, that's great. Getting the filter cloth installed in front of the old seawall now prevent any sand from leaching back through the seawall. Also, I've seen this slow down the attack of the Trito boreworms on the wood wall by eliminating the sunlight. Now we've got the class 4 riprap installed along the seawall. Definitely looks great. It's going to be real good for some storm protection. I'm trying to get it all balanced out, leveled out so it looks good. Get all the dirt cleaned out of the uh, rocks also. <laughs> it's lighter in the water.
projects. We're going to install some filter fabric at the uh, toe of this vinyl seawall. We're going to go ahead and come in with about 80 tons of riprap, class 2 riprap, and saw in front of it. We're doing all this via the barge since we cannot get through the customer's yard at all. We've got a retainer wall up there on the hill where we can't access wood equipment. So we got the guys in the water now installing the uh, filter weave. And once that's in there, we'll start placing the place with the track code. And placing the riprap underneath the platform. Hey, thanks for watching the video on how we installed a riprap. It's quite interesting how this gets done on a shoreline when you can't really access the backyard easily. We've installed 250 tons of rock this week. We've got shoot, probably another 250 due this coming week. But stay tuned, we'll keep you informed on what we're doing. And if you would, please subscribe to the channel and you don't miss out on what we're doing. We've got a lot of projects going on. I'll try to keep them posted.